Hello everyone, we are from group 1 and before we start our presentation, I would like to introduce the member of this group. Uh, my name is Serina Yunipriska and my friends Risma Febi Wayuningasi and also De Carlo Dahler. So, in this occasion, we want to talk about language, dialect, and varieties. Uh, we all know that we have a lot of languages all around the world. For example, is bahasa that we use now in here uh, to communicate with each other. And language is, uh, is connected with thinking. So, obviously, we cannot say anything. We cannot produce any utterance before we think about it first. And of course, it is different between language and dialect. Uh, I'm gonna talk about that later. So we start from the definition between language and dialects. Uh, what is the definition between language and dialects? Language or languages are afforded more prestige than a dialect because they are given a title, a nation, and a canon of literature that give it its elite status while dialect is a variety of a language that differs from other along three dimensions there are vocabulary uh, grammar and pronunciation or we can say that as an accent uh, because they are forms of the same language based on eight word 2009 uh, so basically uh, language has a wider range than uh, dialect while the dialect has a regional or social group range so language has a nation national range and of course it is different also uh, between what is that dialect and accent uh, accent is the different way to pronounce word to pronounce language so for example is British and American so uh, British people will use aeroplane while American will use airplane uh, we know that the meaning of that of those two words are the same but it has a different pronunciation it has a different words to say it uh, British use aeroplane and then uh, American use airplane but it still has the same meaning so that's uh, the example of accent uh, one of the expert uh, Hogan say that language and dialect is an ambiguous term why is that happening the other expert campers say uh, one of the reason is because of the historical factor uh, for example is the Hindi and Urdu language they are both of them are considered as a separated language uh, because there are the language of two different nations it is India and Pakistan uh, even though they are linguistically very similar so that's the example uh, and people will usually take it wrong get it wrong between language and dialect so what is the difference between language and dialect uh, the difference between language and dialect language is written and spoken while dialect is just spoken until it is promoted to the elite status usually for political purposes and also a dialect is generally a particular form of a language which is specific to a region or social group to make it easier uh, we can imagine like if there is a rainbow uh, we know rainbow has a what is that solid colors like yellow green red and many more and we say that we can call that that solid colors as a language uh, and for example i take 
uh, two colors like blue and yellow color uh, in the middle of that two color will be a faded color like yellowish or bluish and that faded color we call it as a dialect uh, that's the uh, example to make it easy between the difference between language and dialect and then we uh, there is another expert Bell ever stated seven language criteria uh, that are there are standardization vitality historicity autonomy reduction mixture and de facto norm so if there is a language that consists of the seven criteria like uh, all of this criteria we can call that as a language but what if it's missing one or two criteria we cannot call that as a language or we can say that as a dialect so the first is the first is standardization a language must have a dictionary like spelling words book and virality means that there is still a living speaker that speak in that language and then historicity of course it has historical background and then autonomy is about feeling a language must be felt by its speaker uh, differently with other language and then reduction uh, refers to the fact that a particular variety may be regarded as a sub variety rather than as, as an independent entity and then mixture is the feelings is the feeling speaker about the purity the purity of the language and then the last is the facto norms uh, there is a good speaker and then poor speaker so the good speaker should represent that the norms of the proper usage of that language uh, and the next I think that's all about language and dialect and the difference between of, uh, two of them yeah, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, First, I want to introduce myself My name is Dago Dahler I am from Kopan with Serena Yuni Priska and Risma Vipi Wahyunisi So in here, we want to talk or explain about language, dialect, and varieties So I have to material I want to explain to us the first is regional dialect regional dialect is regional variation in the way a language is spoken likely to be one of the most noticeable ways in which we observe variety in language jadi regional dialect itu adalah semacam variasi daerah dalam cara berbahasa diucapkan salah satu cara yang paling mencolok di mana kita bisa mengamati variasi bahasa jadi regional dialek itu tiap daerah tentu berbeda-beda seperti contoh dialek daerah di Papua dengan di Jawa itu jelas sangat berbeda sekali cara pengucapannya terus bahasa daerahnya juga mempengaruhi bahkan juga geografi juga mempengaruhi dialek seperti yang saya baca di internet dan beberapa sumber-sumber yang mungkin insya Allah terpercaya jadi jelas dialek itu di setiap daerah berbeda-beda so yang kedua adalah sosial dialek sosial dialek the term of dialect can also be used to describe differences in speech associated with various social group or classes. Jadi sosial dialek itu adalah dalam sosial linguistik, sosial dialek adalah ragam bahasa 
yang diasosiasikan dengan kelas sosial yang berbeda. Jadi seperti ini penjelasan singkatnya kurang lebih. Sosial dialek itu bagaimana kita berbicara dengan lawan bicara kita yang mempunyai posisi berbeda, usia berbeda, gender berbeda, pangkat berbeda, dan punya power yang berbeda. Jadi contohnya seperti ini. Semisal kita berbicara dengan teman kita atau dengan pokoknya dengan umur sebuah ya teman kita lah itu kita memakai dialek yang tidak terlalu formal atau biasa dikatakan ya bahasa bahasa anak anak gaul lah atau anak 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 seumuran gitulah semisal cara menyapa juga berbeda cara berbicara berbeda juga nah berbeda dengan <tuh> cara berbicara kita dengan orang yang memiliki posisi atau kedudukan yang lebih tinggi contohnya seperti dosen atau guru atau orang tua kita atau misal ustadz kita itu jelas kita akan berbicara dengan bahasa dialek dan mungkin juga nada yang berbeda nada yang lebih sopan contohnya kita ketika meminta izin atau ingin menyampaikan sesuatu kepada dosen atau kepada guru biasanya kita memberikan etika atau sopan santun kita terlebih dahulu ya contohnya kayak permisi bu assalamualaikum kami akan bertanya sesuatu ingin menanyakan sesuatu dan lain sebagainya jadi so social dialects juga berbeda terhadap gender seperti misalnya antara laki-laki dengan laki-laki biasanya menurut saya itu kalau berbicara atau ngobrol itu dengan ya agak sedikit kasar nggak terlalu halus gitu tapi semisal seorang pria berbicara dengan wanita biasanya mereka akan lebih sedikit lembut mungkin untuk menghormati juga so dialog variasi ini yang mencangkut semua masalah penuturnya pendidikan juga bisa <tuh> usia juga bisa jadi beberapa faktor juga bisa menentukan menentukan sosial dialeknya yang semacam apa Sekian dari saya. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The language we use in everyday life is very bright. And there is style. Style refers to the particular way of using language in certain contexts. The speaker or the writer have to make the right choice whether informal or formal language form for speaking or writing depend on circumstance of the social group they addresses. We use formal language in the situation that are serious or involve people we don't know well. In contrary, informal language used in, in the real life situation and involve people we are fam familiar with. There are some kind of factors that may influence in choosing styles. The first factor is age. Age distinction very affected how people talk. For example, generally people talk to the children use baby talk, which is categorized as informal spoken. And when talk to the adult, use straight conversation. Using formal language when communicate with elders represent to politeness. However, the conversation among younger often using slangs for nowadays. In addition, slang categorized as a special vocabulary that is frequently used informal 
by any set of persons. The usage of slang often implies a certain familiarity between those who use it together and may show certain attitudes on the parts of speakers. For example, on flick means something looks perfect. Hooked on something, it means that you are addicted on something. To have a blast means that something is great or you had an amazing and fun time. Okay then, we back to another style factor. For the second factor is the various social. As we know, people will talk differently to the higher class and to the lower class. For example, employee talk to their boss will be different when they talk to co-workers. For another example, just by seeing outer appearance of someone else may influence how people speak. Third kind of occasion. Each event held has different language style to apply. For example, just being a participant in the national conference, people must convert to the formal language to communicate directly instead of using informal form because it is a serious situation. For particular test, for example, it can be seen in the letter beginnings or ending. In official style, you would use form like Dear sir, for beginning and yours faithfully for endings. In unofficial, you can begin your letter with the word hi and end them with the word love. And other various difference among participants of influence using language style. There also can be even more language style in speaking. They can be seen in grammar structure, vocabulary, tone, and so on. Furthermore, a speaker can change their speech style according to the context while the conversation is going on. For example, a radio announcer used Bahasa Indonesia to run the program change his or her style of speaking to accommodate the Javanese listener when there is direct communication. And now let's move to register. Register is a variety of language defined according to its use in social situation or discrete occupational. In other words, registers are specific sets of vocabulary items related with different occupational group or the language of group of people with common interest or job. Moreover, register affected by specific content its use, style, level of formality, and media. That's why vocabulary in one subject matter may contain different meaning with others subject matter. For example, the word mass. Mass in physics means quantity of a portion of matter expressed in grams or pounds, or in Indonesian, it called satuan rat. And mass can be composed as masses of people. The word wave can be defined as natural phenomenon or it can be described as greeting sign, goodbye sign, or a sign to locate yourself in social situation. The word rock, it can be described as tone or mass mineral matter. And for the music genre, refers to popular music with strong beat. For the last example, 
is the word match. It has meaning as stick for striking fire or for sport announcer, they describe the word match as a competition or league among sport teams.